On this episode, we talk about the importance of Facebook ads, the virtually untapped pre-need market that lives online, and does size really matter? Faye is not an option, worries throw them away. My mind's made, they got nothing to say. Got you feeling like you can't go on. Don't believe the lies that they told you be strong. I'm saying live your life for the moment and love it. Figure out your ceiling, break the mold, rise above it. Yeah. Welcome everybody to Disrupt You episode 26. I'm your host, Ryan Fogmartin, and this is the Funeral Profession's most disruptive web show. It has been almost four months since the last Disrupt You episode. That's good because we've been massively busy. So we're in here early morning. We stockpiled a lot of questions. So we're going to try to pump these out a little bit more frequently because we want to provide value. So let's get right into it. Question one, I've been managing our funeral home's Facebook page for 12 months. We haven't paid for Facebook ads or boosted any content. Is this good or bad? This is a huge mistake. Facebook has the most sophisticated ad platform on the freaking planet. Like you can get so granular in the way that you target and Facebook ads are hugely underpriced. Look, there's so many funeral directors out there that are very negative about Facebook and Facebook ads when they've never deployed a single dollar against them. It makes no sense to be against a platform that you've never spent a dollar marketing on. So I would highly, highly encourage you to engage with Facebook ads and boosted content. It has to be a part of every Facebook strategy for there to be success. Facebook ads are, again, hugely underpriced, meaning we have clients that before working with us are spending $1,500 a month on just billboards that cannot be measured. How do we know they can't be measured? Because when we ask if they're successful, the answer we get is, well, our call volume stayed the same, so we're not losing calls. If that's the barometer of success, you're already in a losing business. So absolutely, you should be engaging in Facebook ads because they are extremely underpriced and they are 100% measurable. Question two. Should funeral homes manage social media on their own or does it make sense to hire a professional? Funeral homes should absolutely not manage social media on their own. Here's why. There's a difference in the way you play basketball and the way that LeBron James plays basketball. Leave it to the professionals. I can't embalm like you and you can't create content like us. So we know what Facebook wants, what the consumer wants, how to get the most value and the best reach out of the content that you're putting out. Funeral homes do not. You're not marketers, you're funeral directors and embalmers, you're caretakers, you're event planners. You do a mass, massive, a massive amount of different things. Wearing a marketing hat should not be one of them. I would absolutely encourage a funeral home to hire a professional company to work alongside them. It should not be something that you're putting on autopilot or copilot or whatever like that, not just buying content. You absolutely need to be working with a professional that's gonna help you create goals and a strategy to achieve those goals and content that's gonna go out that's going to be measurable against those goals so there's a definite ROI. Question number three, how much should funeral homes spend on Facebook ads? This is a great question because there is no minimum or maximum number. Call volume doesn't matter. That's the old way of thinking. I do 300 calls, I should be spending, spending X. It doesn't work like that. It, whatever your goals are, you need to be spending the amount of money that's gonna help you achieve those goals. Look, we have clients spending $100 a month on Facebook ad. We have clients spending over $2,500 a month on Facebook ads. It's all about what your goals are and what you're willing to pay to reach those goals or what you're willing to pay to get a lead. Leads are not bad, that's not a dirty word. Sales is good. The byproduct of great engagement or running social media and Facebook specifically correctly is that you can drive leads. So you'll probably be surprised to hear that we have clients spending $500 a month on average on Facebook ads, generating over $20,000 a month on average in pre-need leads. Almost a 54 times return per dollar spend across the board. You're not doing that on your own and you're definitely not doing that through traditional marketing. So. Should you be spending money on Facebook ads? Absolutely. How much? Dependent on your goals and what you're willing to pay for a lead. Question four, does size matter in terms of call volume compared to a funeral home success on Facebook? The beauty of Facebook is that it levels the playing field. Whether you're a firm that does 30 calls a year or a firm that does 700 calls a year, the tools that you have at your dispense and available through Facebook are absolutely the same across the board. The playing field is level. It's just how creative you can be 
how fundamentally sound your strategy is and how are you gonna measure that's gonna determine what your success is. For a 700 call firm, it may be just increasing call volume or pre-need leads. For a 30 call firm, it may be having the biggest page in your town where you've got more followers engagement than the 700 call firm where you're owning the conversation that's happening online in your community around Facebook. So it, size does not matter. It's completely level across the board. Your creativity and who you have on your team, that's the differentiator. You say the pre-need market online is huge and untapped. What do you mean by that? So look, here's the deal. When we look at the data of internet users over the age of 40 in the United States, on average 72% of them are engaging on Facebook. The statistics we know to be true in this profession are 65 to 75% of death care services are planned by women or shot by women between the ages of 45 and 65 on average. So that demographic of 40 plus is your exact target audience on social media. Other statistics that we know from FAMIC, People over the age of 40, 69% say that they would like to plan their own funeral service, meaning they want to be in control. They want a funeral home to come alongside them and help them in that planning, but ultimately they want the control. So again, that demographic is fully engaged on Facebook, which votes well for printing marketing and targeting that user on Facebook. According to a recent Homesteader study, 66% of people over the age of 55 in the United States say they have never been contacted by a funeral home to pre-planned funeral services. There are 91 million people in the US over the age of 55. That's a huge number. So if 66% of them say they've never been contacted by a funeral home to pre-plan their funeral service, that's roughly 60 million people over the age of 55 in the US that have never been contacted by a funeral home. On Facebook, there are over 34 million people 55 or older engaging. So over half the audience that's never been targeted by a funeral home or contacted by a funeral home to make pre-arrangements is engaging on Facebook. It's a wide open market. Most funeral homes are not doing it correctly because they don't understand social media and the power of Facebook to be able to drive a hot, hot lead. Like, listen, here's how a lead works on Facebook. You get somebody in the pipeline so they have to voluntarily like your Facebook page. You put out content they voluntarily have to engage with. You target Facebook ads at them that they voluntarily have to click on. They go to a landing page where they fill out a form for more information about pre-planning services. Then you have to contact them. Then they have to come in to make arrangements. There's five steps before they actually come in to make an arrangement that they have to go through to be able to drive, for you to successfully be able to drive a lead. It happens. We have clients that are engaging on Facebook, spending $500 a month and doing over $20,000 a month in sales and leads, pre-need leads from that $500 spend. The market is huge and virtually untapped online, specifically on Facebook. The consumer's ready, you just gotta go get them. All right, so there's five questions that we answered on this episode. We're glad to be back in the saddle. We're gonna be pumping more of this content out. Keep sending us your questions. We greatly appreciate it. We'll answer them on the show. And if you send us a question and we answer it, we're gonna send you some free Disrupt Media swag. So until next time, keep disrupting. Or stay the course, appreciate the knowledge that I gain, more I aim for. The universe elevation above the clouds, rocking awesome personality, walk out of the crowd. What I am is what I'm proud to be, I shout it out loud. I know who I am, let other people figure me out.